Uh, what is it? It's Thir Friday. Lies. It's <laughs> Thursday. Uh, welcome to Thursday. Starting today outside. Uh, Mal had made that pie. We did share. We did share. Uh, we've only turn this around. We have only got Dan and Michael here, Hi. but they're they're here to help us eat pie. And also, we are he's, watching. He's the burden. He's the burden of the pie. And we're also watching, uh, or it's just now starting, the Game Awards. Now this is something that under normal circumstances I would uh, I would not watch. However, this morning they were like, we're going to uh, unveil a new Smash Brothers character on the Game Awards. So I'm watching it now, I guess. I'm in the process of um, taking some of the mail that we shot uh, and putting it on a drive for Dan. And it's been going for a while. So I'm like, well, we have to wait on that anyway, so we might as well turn the Game Awards on. So we're now sitting in the driveway, eating pie, and watching the Game Awards. I hope the Smash thing comes up sooner rather than later, but I'm not really holding my breath. Oh my god, they're doing it, they're doing it right away. I didn't think they would do it right away. Holy crap. I really thought it was like, they're gonna make us wait till the very end. Is it a new campaign? World of Light 2. Thomas. It's a slideshow. We're not going to know the course. We can't see what's happening. We have no context. <laughs> oh, buddy. After the Smash reveal, we were like, all right, we don't really have to watch the Game Awards anymore because I was only tuning in to see that. And Thomas is streaming, and he's actually putting together a, uh, a custom course for us to oh, record on Saturday. Oh, my God. And uh, it's just funny because now we're just in the driveway watching his stream. But it is because he's trying to play the game and stream from the same computer, it's not running super, super well. Because normally when he does streams, he's doing it from like a console with a capture card. And this is from the same computer, so it's, <laughs> it's having some issues, but it's still entertaining. So Dan and Michael just left. Um, we had been basically waiting on the mail footage to transfer to the drive and it finished. So we ended up watching, I mean, not very much of the Game Awards. No. They showed the Smash reveal right at the beginning, which again, I did not expect they would do. Um, and then after that, uh, we saw like a few more minutes and then we just switched it over to, to Thomas. Um, I never watch it, really. That's not really something I've ever watched. I don't have anything against it, but like all of the information that's gonna be revealed is more important to me than the event itself. And I'll just look at the information that's revealed because some companies use that to show new information, like the Smash reveal. And I'll just read about that to tomorrow. Um, but I stayed warm. I stayed very warm because I have an undershirt under this. So I have a white undershirt on. Then I have this. Then I had a jacket. But the thing that made the most difference and the thing that was different between this uh, week and last week was that I have pajamas on underneath my pants. I don't have any long underwear. I don't have any long johns that I, that I know of. They're at your parents. Is that where they are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had bought some whenever Mal and I were still dating because I needed them when I visited Wisconsin because it was very cold there. But uh, I didn't have them here, so I just put on, you know, long pajama pants and put my pants over them, and it was fine. I was, I was actually I was comfortable the entire night. There was never once where I was like, I'm cold. I was like, no, this is fine. It was also a little bit warmer than last week. I think the lowest it got tonight was, what's the temperature? Oh, wow, really? Yeah. 48? Why? <laughs> Thomas, why? <laughs> that was weird. Thomas, I was not on the, <laughs> Twitch was not open, but Thomas was still speaking to me. Okay, yeah, so it's, no wonder I was comfortable. It's only 48 degrees. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was colder. I think it was supposed to be in like the mid 40s. Although I guess 48 does kind of count as mid 40. Anyway, um, so now we have to actually make dinner because we haven't done that. Um, my hands are a little cold, but my body is, is fine. I just need to take off all of the extra clothing because uh, I don't need it inside the house. So for dinner tonight, we decided just to do a frozen pizza, um, specifically, the Red Baron pizzas, just because the kitchen's a little bit of a mess, so we gotta clean it up. And... <laughs> it's gonna be a whole thing, so it's like, instead of dealing with that right now, in the midst of trying to cook, we'll just cook a pizza. This, it's this one. It's the Red Baron uh, classic crust. The only problem, special deluxe is 
one that is specifically. The only problem is we've gotten a few of these and they're delicious, we like them, but every single time we do them, every time, they come out like this, where like they're folded, there's like a part up in the air, and it's really strange because, I mean, we cook pizzas all the time, either ones that we've made or other frozen ones, and only Red Baron has this problem, and it's flat going in. Why does this happen? It doesn't make any sense. It's only the Red Baron. I don't know. That looks good. How is it, Mal? Is it hitting the spot? Mm -hmm. Of course, food of any, any amount. It's weird that we had the dessert first. Mm -hmm. It was like an appetizer. Oh my God, appetizer. That's an idea. A restaurant that serves appetizers, but it's pie. That's a smart. It's not. The, anyway, um, I am exhausted. I, I said this last week where, you know, I had spent, you know, a few hours out in the cold. And even though this week was warmer, and it was, it was, it was warmer outside and I was dressed much more warmly. That doesn't matter. I am, so, now that I've actually, you know, I've made dinner, I've sat down, I feel like I'm just going to pass out. I am so, so tired. So I'm just going to end the vlog because I, I don't know, I, I obviously I had some more stuff to do, but I'm thinking about maybe wrapping up the, the evening like very early and just getting a bunch of extra rest because I'm, I'm completely, I'm completely exhausted. There's stuff that I can, I'll just do it tomorrow. Is this pizza for you? It's not, but you can think that. You know, I don't think we ever talked about the fact that we did start giving him human food. The tiniest amount. The tiniest little shred of cheese. Now when we, and this isn't an example because this is a frozen pizza, but now when we make a pizza, um, he can have one little tiny thing of cheese. The, like, one little shred mm -hmm. of cheese. And for the, because he would never eat food, and we never offered it to either of the cats, but we've now gotten to the point where we'll give him one shred of cheese, and he's, that's fine. He'll eat it. He won't ask for any more, and he doesn't bug us otherwise. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I guess it's not as big of a treat to him as we think it is. Mm-hmm. I think that's the whole thing. He's, he's not interested. He's really not. He like eats it and he's like, okay, bye. If it was a meat stick, like if we were putting meat sticks on our pizza, he'd be all about that. Thanks for watching. As always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?